Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In my last episode, I talked about instant gratification versus delayed gratification. You're going to want to stay away from things that give you instant gratification, such as things like your phone, Netflix, video games, things that give you dopamine and pleasure in the moment, but don't help you with shit in the long run. But things that delay your gratification are going to suck in the moment. Things like hitting the gym, eating healthy, going towards your goals, that's gonna suck in the moment. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna push you out of your comfort zone. But in the end, it's gonna make you love yourself and it's gonna make you happy. And if you guys haven't checked out my last video, I highly recommend you check it out. I'll leave that linked in the description below. In my last video, I recommended writing down the things that give you instant gratification in your life and the things that you wanna adopt into your life that give you delayed gratification. Write down the literal apps that give you instant gratification and try to remove those apps from your life. You'll see a complete difference in your mental health, the way you function and the way you just automatically strive towards your goals and things that give you delayed gratification because you're not worried about things that give you instant gratification in today's episode i'm going to be talking about how we can get rid of these bad habits and adopt some good habits and let's just hop right into it step one is knowing why you're doing this there's a whole bunch of reasons you can do this you can do this for happiness self-love for self-improvements for a specific goal to make money whatever it may be you can do it for those reasons alone and i also recommend looking up what the bad habits are doing to you and what the good habits would do to you because sometimes it may be hard to see the downsides of what you're doing day in and day out until you actually look them up and then you'll realize shit i probably shouldn't be doing this i need to get rid of this bad habit right now do extensive research if you have to on your phone <laughs> high if you're addicted to your phone for example maybe do some research on what your phone is actually doing to you and you'll probably not want to go on it as much same thing with good habits look up what cold showers would do to you look up what working out does to you look up what reading does to you and just having this knowledge of how this can elevate your life in so many levels will kind of get rid of the negative self-talk that you have like oh this is too hard i don't want to do this this is out of my comfort zone you'll push that to the side and say you know what fuck you i want these benefits i'm gonna try it out and then you try it out and obviously it's gonna be hard but this will lead me to my next step which is taking small steps taking small steps with anything makes it so much easier if you want to start exercising for example start small you don't have to start going to the gym every single day and hitting weights but I don't know, walk around your neighborhood, start jogging a little bit, do some push-ups, and then slowly build your way up to go into the gym and get a full workout routine. And slowly you'll just build up into where you wanna be. You can do this for cold showers too. Start with not freezing cold water. Don't go in for the full two to three minutes that Wim Hof recommends. Start with 30 seconds at moderately cold water and then slowly adapt to the water and you'll get better and better each day and you'll push yourself more and more. And you'll realize that it's not all as bad as you think. Starting small will not only get you to actually start but it'll also get you to make it a habit because when you're doing this day in and day out for three weeks straight, then it just becomes natural and then it's just easy. Start with small steps and know why you're doing this and it'll be a lot easier to make this into a habit and it'll just be part of you. My next tip is more of just a mindset and you just have to have the mentality that this is going to be hard. This is going to take time. That's why I say start small because anything hard in life, if you dive head first in, it's going to suck. It's going to push you out of your comfort zone. You're not going to want to do it. You're not going to see the results. But if you start small and just adopt it into a habit, you'll see the results over time because this does take time. Anything worthwhile in life is going to take extensive hard work and it's going to take time. So be patient and keep working your ass off and be persistent with it and you'll see the results. My final tip, if you're not feeling motivated to go through these steps and get rid of these shitty habits and adopt good ones, because this is gonna take a very large amount of willpower. It's gonna take a lot of motivation. It's gonna be difficult. And something that just pushes me every single day is just watching a motivational video. I don't know why, but there's something about David Goggins yelling in my ear that just gets me out of the door when I need to go to the gym. It gets me straight into that cold shower when I don't feel like getting in. Something about a motivational video gets me going, gets me started for the day. So I recommend trying them out if you don't feel motivated, if you don't feel like yourself, you feel like shit someday, turn one of these videos on and something will just click in your brain and you'll go. Don't rely on these though, learn how to motivate yourself and you'll be a lot better off in life. But honestly, I watch these videos so much that I just kind of have this like motivational head in my voice that just tells me to go when I need to go. And I don't know if it's because of these videos or because of my willpower, but I hear fucking David Goggins voice in my head sometimes and it's, it's kind of lit.
If you ever have a hard time out there, take yourself. Listen to what kind of bitch you're being. Stay hard. Hope you guys learned something in today's video. Four simple steps. Know why you're doing this. Take small steps. Watch motivational videos. And just know that this is going to be hard and it's going to take time. If this type of topic interests you, let me know by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. I'm going to have more videos relative to this topic pretty soon because I love talking about this shit. We are run by our subconscious habits. Every single day, if you have perfect habits, you'll just continue to do these habits subconsciously day in and day out and you'll live an amazing life. But if you have shitty habits, scrolling on your phone all day, going on Netflix all day, playing video games all day, that shit is not going to help you out. You're going to continue to do that day in and day out and it's gonna fuck your life up. So I love talking about this shit. I love helping you guys out. If I did help, let me know by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.